Aloha guys. Um, left off last little episode, maybe a cut, I don't know. Um, we were 30-ish science short of actually getting enough uh, uh, research done to open up the large solar panels. This is what you really, really need to do uh, cathane mining because uh, it takes up a ton of power. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I make myself a little space docking area where I can trans... Uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, words are hard. Um, I can transfer fuel back and forth uh, between vessels and uh, yeah, before I send them out to either the moon, Minmus, another, you know, uh, space station, uh, another planet, whatever it may be. So. I did unlock some of the basic uh, space station parts and pieces. So that's what I'm going to put together today. And uh, hopefully get that up into space and around orbit of Kerbin. So I can use it as just a refueling station. And then uh, see if I can weasel out 30 more science sometime in this episode to... Uh, um, uh, uh, do, uh, mm, uh, unlock those solar panels. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick cut, and uh, I'll get back with you on the launch pad. Well, that was a painful amount of staging. Uh, hopefully I warped through that as fast as humanly possible. Uh, and now I present to you the space bridge. So hopefully this is enough to get it up into orbit. God, I hope so. I would hate to try to rebuild this again. 
Maybe strap on some SRBs. Anyway, without further ado, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, and it goes up with the quickness. Hopefully, I got the staging right. Um, I was pretty, pretty careful to go through there and to do everything cool and groovy like. But we will see when it launches. <laughs> that first stage is coming up. So, let's see here. Alright guys, everybody, cross your fingers. And... Stage! That looked good! Right on. So far so good. First stage. Ooh. Okay. We got this. We got this. We can do this. We have the technology. We really do. Alright, so just, I guess I'll talk about this a little bit as it goes up. Uh, four docking ports here. A little bit of fuel in this, not a whole lot. RCS, lights. Well, let's check the lights before we get it super far up there to make sure. Yeah, it shines right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Save some electricity. Stage. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, two for two. Let's crank that speed all the way up there. We're gonna need to start climbing pretty quick. Yes, because we are fast approaching 10,000 meters. But it is, it's going up, going up at a good pace. Definitely. Um, I think I could have put some lights here shining up, but I think that should be enough, hopefully, hopefully. Should be pretty good. This thing's rather stable. I'm, I'm impressed that it uh, hasn't tried to spin or anything else like that. We'll see what happens when I'm making the gravity turn here if it just decides to completely and totally lay over there. But no, it's looking pretty good. Stage up. Oh, four for four. We did good. It took me forever to get it staged correctly, but. Uh, yeah, we did it! Hooray! Let's roll over again and see if we can't get it where it needs to be. Oh, I didn't have this this engine fired, even though it's all filtering into here. That's not good. Well, it's working out, maybe. Whoa, what is our apoapsis sitting at? 22. Huh. I may have to do this launch again. Shoot. Hopefully I got enough oomph to get up into orbit. Crap. What are we looking at here? Go back to the ship. Go. Yeah, we're doing alright. Not terrible. Speed kind of sucks, though. <laughs> uh, maybe I will activate this engine. There we go. Now it's picking up. That's about where we need to be, maybe? Actually, we should be way higher. What's my orbit look like? Hmm. That is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Huh. And we almost burned out of that fuel. Crap. Ola. This may not be enough, guys. Last one. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. Maybe if I just point it straight up again. That looks good. Come on, buddy. Come on. Hmm. Not bueno. Maybe I need some SRBs to get it started. Well, no, it took off pretty well. Hmm. This is a heavy space station, though. Crud. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, this has a ton of fuel left. And it's climbing. It's climbing. Okay. We may have this. We may have this. All right. <sighs> heavy sigh of relief. I think it's going to make it up on my first try. Perfect. 
All right. Just got to decide what I want the orbit uh, height to be. I'm thinking somewhere in the 150,000 meters. I've always had good luck there. Uh, that way it gives you a lot of room on either side to uh, rendezvous with it, if you know what I mean. So 90, 100. Let's leave that there. Nope. Maybe we should keep burning. I can get that up to 70. Mm, oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that'll be good. And then when I get around to the apoapsis here, I will, uh, yeah, I can uh, circularize that, and that'll be good. Awesome. And then what I'll do is I'll take the, the lunar lander, and uh, I'll go back and relaunch that one. Probably with Jeb at the controls again. I'll bring it up. Dock it with this vessel. Transfer fuel. I'll either use it, uh, depending on how much gas I have left, to, to fuel in, or maybe I'll design some other rig to, just to bring up a ton of gas and just park it on there. Mm, that sounds good. Maybe I'll do that. And then next mission, what I'll do is bring up Jeb, dock him, fill up all of his tanks, and then get him out of orbit there. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Alright, this is going to be the vessel that I use to get fuel up to my orbital, orbital station. Yeah, so I'm going to need a lot of gas, a lot of lift, and quite a bit of propulsion. And yeah, perfect! Couldn't, couldn't be better. Um... Yeah, let me work this out, guys, and sounds like a perfect time for a fast-forward montage. This is going to be a proof of concept launch for my gas lifter one, just to see if it will get into space at all. Um, I put these on here just in case, for whatever reason, um, there's gas left in these tanks, and uh, I don't want to leave a ton of space debris up there, so I put these on here. Uh, they give a little bit of extra torque. That'll be cool. Um, but other than that, it's just so I can, if they get detached, I can deorbit them without leaving crap up there in space. Okay, so here we go. Let's put the autopilot on. Uh, just real minimum thrust, I guess, just to see what happens. And then here we go on land. Launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, we need more 
gas I need no oh, oh do it Parcel, you made it. Good job, buddy. <laughs> um, that didn't work at all. Try again. All right, we're going to need a lot more thrust this time. Let's just put it on max, even though I didn't particularly want to. Um, I need to have that down there, too. Okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wow. It is not moving very fast. Let's find that sweet spot there. Okay, this is not looking good. Huh. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Huh. Oh no, well, I have a ton of fuel here. This is just to get me rolling. And then I can crank it up. Yeah, okay. I was I never give these rockets enough credit. Deep breath. Come on. Come on. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Come on. You can do it. You have enough lift. You have enough lift. Oh lord. It doesn't have enough lift. Um Um Okay. <laughs> oh no, we're falling. Uh, crap. Well, back to the drawing board. <laughs> this looks incredibly wobbly. All right, well, strap some more solid rocket boosters on it, and uh, yeah, that should be should be plenty good enough, I think. So, uh, good luck, Barcel. He looks he looks thrilled. Yeah. In five, four, three, two, one. This is a slow takeoff. Pretty slow indeed. Oh god, these things are going to start overheating. Alright, some upward momentum would be good. Yes, yes, let's, let's let us go up. Um, oh lord, stage. Ugh. Well. 
it's going up. Those solid rocket boosters on the bottom didn't do a whole lot of much. But they didn't make us explode either, so that's always a plus. Alright, let's just crank this up and see what happens. That's death and destruction. I probably should have done that in the first place. Problem is, I'm gonna have to get to right about here to the gravity turn before any of this really makes a difference. Um, and now we're gonna run into the same problem we had last time. Oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe it's gonna shake itself apart. Ooh. Everything's going all wibbly wobbly. I can't turn that engine off. Oh, it's broken. It's broken. Um, here what we'll do. Cut everything. Stage. Oh, that's perfect. I didn't, uh, oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord, this this isn't gonna be good. We may lose a we may lose a Kerbal. Oh no. Alright, let's uh Oh. Throttle doesn't matter. It's running at full bore. Okay, we're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose it. It'll be fine. You're gonna land, buddy. You're gonna be oh I have RCS too. Let's check make sure this stuff works. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have any Arthur yet. Oh, no RCS thrusters on this unit. Ooh, this may not be good, guy. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay. And now it falls off. Perfect. That's, that's hunky-dory. It's another revision of the Wiggly Rocket, and we're going to launch in five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> so it's lifting off just a little bit faster, slightly. Let's get it pointed straight up into the air, more or less, at least on the 90 degree inclination. about there, that'll be good. And stage. Alright, that's something. Stuff is happening. Yeah, thing, things are going great. Stage. Alright. And we are, we're going up. Marcel is quite concerned. He's looking up. Maybe he's looking for a way out. Not quite sure. Things are crashing down on the launch pad. But we are moving in an upward direction. We've got speed. Alright. So we're probably maxed out as far as our Upward thrust is concerned. Oh, I'm getting a wobble. We're getting some serious wobble here. Oh lord! Oh no! Oh no! It's not looking good for you, Barcel. Not looking good at all. Poor guy. That's why we recruited you, though. You were a red shirt. We bid you farewell. <sighs> Lay sigh. 